Hello everyone, it's Scrap Squad Sunday, and I'm all set up for um, <laughs> an awesome good time. I absolutely love this original. It's got the smaller circles in a smaller sized cluster up at the top, and it's got the photo at the very center of the bottom cluster, which has larger circles. It's got the little stitchy um, flourishes at the end. I'm going to kind of do that with glue and, and um, baker's twine. We'll see how that works out. Um, and I'm going to go uh, coastal on, on this. Um, my photo that I've chosen is this one of Ava at Hilton Head Island in 2015. And it's one of my favorite photos because I was taking it from really far away with a zoom lens and she had no idea she was being photographed. So she was looking at seashells and my um, uh, then step-grandson uh, was showing her some. So I'm going to kind of put some flowers over his hand there. <laughs> but this is... I'm I'm gonna maybe use a similar color scheme. I've just I've gone through. I'll show you where I've gotten my papers from, and then we'll figure out how to pick a background. Um, I have well, let me tell you the the story, the backstory. Um, when I decided to order the simply simple vintage coastal by Simple Stories, um, I decided to go through all of my beachy slash travel papers and embellishments and pull, separate them into bright, summery, um, vivid kinds of bright colored um, patterns and, and things that related to pool rather than beach. And I separated that from the more muted tones in uh, some of my beachy supplies. So I found this six by six paper pad, and I actually had two of them, called Color Wash, that's by Pink Paisley, and it dates back to who knows when, 2013. And so I pulled a few papers. This one has the little hexagons. This one has a, a kind of a... a, a floral fence type print. This one has um, um, script words in, and an ombre tone, and I cut three of those circles. This has some color washed strips with a chevron pattern, and this is actually a different um, pink page. That's a Paige Evans a bungalow lane pattern that I just happened to have a scrap of, but it was the right color coral. And I also had this paper, which is a, and I'm losing it right now. I think it is uh, Webster's Pages, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I cut one circle out of that because that's all I had in the scrap bucket. Um, I have this, which is the inside of a cut file that I cut apart uh, for a project last week. Not sure I'm going to use it, but if I have something other than a white background, I, I thought that might kind of look nice. I had this chipboard sheet that the kids gave me for Christmas, um, and you can tell that what the manufacturer did and why it was sold at a discount place is they printed the colors on there and went back with the cutting machine and the cutting machine is just off center but I kind of like what that does it's it's kind of when you pull it out it's not all perfect so um, I've pulled a few things out of there mostly concentrating on circles I want to keep this handy so I have this little arrow that I pulled from there and it's coral I've got this compass rose and you can see that it's printed kind of off kilter and if I overlap some things on there I've got this globe which I may or may not use uh, from a totally different uh, collection I've got this thing that says shells because that's what they're looking at 
And a million years ago, Ava bought this or talked somebody into buying this um, little jar of shells from Florida because it says Florida. And she kind of outgrew her beachy look in her room. So she gave me this thing of shells and I've used all of the ones that are missing on layouts. And I've pulled out some of the very small ones and put them in here, may or may not use all of them. I have selected some beachy flair from Dottie About Flair. I have some, um, I've, I've made some of these little um, dimensional circles like you see right there and right there. Um, I, all I did was uh, cut same size circles and then I put some glue behind the one that's folded up at the top and I've made two different sizes, one for the upper cluster and one for the lower cluster. And I have some um, greenery. I have a saying, just give me flowers in the sea and I'm going to be putting some flowers in here and we're obviously at the sea, so I may or may not use that. I have these things that can kind of be coming out of the clusters, kind of like some of this business going on. There are three areas here that, that there's a lot, and then there's some flowers on top. Well, I'm going to have some of all of that. I have Oceanside Breeze um, sequin mix that has some shells in it and some really beautiful... Um, holographic and uh, other kinds of sequins in not exactly, when they're all together, it looks like they're the wrong color. It looks like they would go more with the blue than with the uh, aqua, but I kind of want to see how it lays out on the page before I decide. If those don't work, I have a mix called Miami Splash that's custom made by uh, my secret sister at the retreat I went to recently called, um, uh, like I said, it's Miami Splash, and, and it's Jojo Kelly who made this up. And it's got some um, pearly pink ones, and it's got some teal and some clear and some hearts and some seashells. So I should be able to find something in there. For my uh, stitching look, I'm going to use either this, which came from JoJo, or this, or maybe that if there seems to be enough pink in there, or if I chicken out, I'll just use the jute color. And I have this sticker book from the Simple Stories Simple Vintage Coastal, and there are all kinds of things I can use in there, including this. If I feel like these are too big, I've got this. And there are some um, kind of uh, some, there are lots of circular elements. And there are florals that can go on top of other circular elements. So I get my my seaside and florals. These are, this is where my title's going to come from. It's either going to be waves or it's going to be escape. Could be seaside fun. Um, we'll see what kind of background I pick. Uh, coastal, I could say coastal fun uh, or beachy. You know, I'll pick my title from there. I've got another sticker sheet from that collection where I thought I could use this in place of one of the circular elements, and I could use this uh, rope to be a backdrop of another of the circular elements. And it's got some small images like the seagulls, and of course the hearts. I love the bleached wood hearts. And the gecko. The gecko is so cool. But, and there's some word, you know, phrases down there. And then I also have, I really want to use this uh, signpost, and it's the right scale. There's another one somewhere, this one, that's set behind, you know, this is kind of a, a nice little uh, uh, embellishment, but I think it, the scale may be too 
too big. So I like the size of that. And then there are some small circular elements that can kind of be sprinkled around. So working with all of that, now I gotta figure out what my background's gonna be. And I could have just gone with white, which is kind of where I was headed. But then I thought, well, you know, I've pulled out all those pattern papers. Why not use one of those? And I'll tell you that my very favorite one was, um, sitting down, it was this one right here. It's from a My Mind's Eye line called Breaking Free. And what I liked is if it didn't have the surfboards on it, and I love the surfboards, I love this kind of look with the texty stuff and the mixed media kind of grungy look. That to me would be the perfect background. It's pinks and yellows. So then when I put aquas and blues on there, they'd really stand out. But I, at least, I, did, I don't know if they, they made one like this, but I didn't have one that didn't have the surfboards. So the other side is a candidate because it's got this, beautiful kind of distressed blue, and it's got a little bit of uh, grunge and occasional text on there. It looks like it, it was stamped underneath about five layers of paint. So that's a possibility. When I look, it's kind of not exactly this, but that wouldn't look bad on it. Um, it's kind of okay for that. Um, it's not, it's not exactly perfect. If it were about 10 shades lighter with a little more of the grunge showing, I think I'd probably pick this. Now, what I could do is spritz it with some white ink. Um, so that, let me kind of keep that in mind. I have this other Simple Stories, one that's called Summer Fresh, that I'm going to eliminate it. I picked it because it has a, a, a vintage look around the outside of it, and it's kind of a simple, repetitive pattern. But it's to me, it's the wrong color. Then there's this one. It's a little yellow bicycle. And I love this side, and I would hate to lose this side, but this side is much more suited, I think, to this page. So there's that. That's my leading candidate as I'm looking through them now. There's also this, which is an authentic um, collection called Classique Elegant, and this is Elegant number two. And that's the A side. The B side is just kind of a slightly um, uh, distressed looking, not exactly cream. It's kind of white and cream. So let's say, for instance, that white cut file would be subtle, but it would kind of contrast. It kind of goes with all of the colors I have here, the patterns I've picked, the photo looks great on it. It's a yellower cast than the sand that's in the background of that photo, but look how nice that looks. So I've narrowed it down to this or this. You know, I think I'm gonna go with the sandy one. This scripty one is beautiful. It's from a little yellow bicycle collection called Poppy, also 2013. So I bought a lot of papers in 2013, I guess. So let me put those aside. I'm gonna cut the strip and commit to this one. And we're gonna go for it. Um, let me see if I can, I have to get the light right to cut that on the right spot because the branding strip actually looks very much the same color as the paper. Okay. That branding strip was more than a half inch um, wide. Okay. 
So this has a little bit more distressing right there. So I'm gonna have that down at the bottom because I know that's gonna, gonna go. Let's see what we wanna do first. I may just go ahead and place some things and commit um, because I really don't want to take um, a lot of time. There's not a lot underneath this. I want to be sure that I get the scale right. I did a, a lift a couple days ago where um, I, I loved the page that I made, but the scale was... I, I thought the scale was wrong, and I what I ended up not liking it as much as I could have. I'm going to go ahead and put this one maybe right there, just for the hell of it. And I'm going to do this. kind of down here, and then let's take that and overlap there, and I want to take another, uh, okay, I've already got the handwriting on that one. There's this. And I could do this on top of that. And then I can add on some of these subtle prints, I can add some florals. So let's look at, there's um, some greenery kind of, there's that possibility and Let's say we do that, and then I add another, like a small, a small one of these. Let's take, I've got this circle, and my fingernails are not picking that up, so we'll go here. This is from a um, Webster's Pages collection called Sandy Toes, and I bought every single piece of that. So if I do that, I can then put a flower on top of that, and maybe I can have something um, from the sticker sheet kind of coming out here. I need something there. So then we talk about, let's see, maybe that's the place for this. Maybe that's Kaisercraft, not um, Webster's Pages. So then we go, I'm gonna do one of these here. And let's say I'm going to do that. And I might do this and this. And of course, there will be some small circles uh, in the in that I, you know, we'll have some um, be using some flare. So this kind of, I might want that above. And then here's some of those words. And I'm going to put the word, these words kind of over here. And then I've got 
this, which could kind of slide in there. I've got the this arrow, which may be It seems like I need something that joins these, and maybe that's where that sticker can go. The sticker that I really liked out of here. Maybe kind of right smack in the middle there. Not exactly in the middle, but let's put some foam behind it. And I have some bits of foam here ready to put on the back so this kind of let me raise it up another level and this time I think I'll use the tape and I've got a piece cut there and I think I'm gonna weight it a bit over here to the to the left so that it's not exactly right smack on top of the the photo okay now I can maybe stick some of these in there and I'm I'm building the upper part. Um, so that I'm sure I, I can be sure that the scale isn't out of whack. And this now can be that kind of part that fades into the background. You'll notice on here, it kind of looks like these two clusters are not connected, but there's a really subtle print circle right back there. So that's what this is going to be. And it says funny, colorful, happy, cute, you, me, fabulous. You know, it, it's just got some really cute, um, cute things. Let me kind of go... Well, I think I'm going to use this right here. I'm pretty sure I want that there. It's kind of out that way, but I'm going to stick it down by putting something on top of it. And then I've got my... This little guy has that print on it. So I want to put it kind of over here, but I need I need to lift it up, I think. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and, and go for it. That's just such a cute technique or when you use a lot of circles. I wish I'd thought of that on my um, page I did the other day. There's that, and then I can have some flowers kind of coming out of there. In fact, I could maybe even use this guy, or I could use it here. That's what I like doing with those things. It's kind of putting them down where the one part of the arrow is underneath the um, the piece and the other is above it. So we'll do that. Kind of right there. And then I've got this, which brings in that same kind of coral color. So I'm going to move it over to this side where it also picks up the coral from those plumerias. So now I'm going to take 
this, kind of do it there. And let me put the words um, right side up. And I can, because the words aren't important there, they are important here, I can do a, um, a flower over that maybe, or a pineapple or something. Okay, so I haven't glued any of this down. I do know that I want to use this up in the small side and let me put it on a something like right here. And then I've got this guy, which would probably look cute right here. And then I can have something of a sticker coming out. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't, um, I can put that right there so that the sticker can slide through. So now speaking of stickers, let's go ahead and pick out stickers. I like this um, cluster of plumerias right here, and I'm thinking it might fit nicely there. So I'm hoping that it's let's see, do I want to maybe do it this way? Kind of okay, that works, and then I can put something small right there, and the something small might be that little seashell. I created a little bit of a gap, and you until you with stickers at least for me. I never know how far they're going to um, actually tuck up under. So let's see, there is a, a spot I kind of thought this might be, this flare might work nicely if I kind of tuck it a little bit there, or it could actually go over if I put enough. Actually, I think I'm gonna use a different flare. I'm gonna go for this one, which has the, the C, and I'll put the shell. This has the horizon, this seaside horizon, and I think it, it's pretty in that composition. And then this one maybe can go over here. Ah, let's see, I, I think I'll put it I want it kind of fanning out. Okay, so that's good. I like that. Now I need something small there. I may do a sequin or one of these small brads that says, um, yeah, I like the one that says beach day, but I might like it better if it were kind of tucked in like that. And then maybe what I want right here is a flower. Let's see if I can find one kind of on its own in here. There's, ooh, there's the um, starfish. Let's go with the starfish. And it's going to be a fairly light, you know, thin sticker. But 
I think I can keep it kind of lifted up right there. Okay, so that works out well there. And I think I'm done with the upper cluster for the moment. So let's do this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and stick it. Let me get north pointed up. there and then this doesn't have anything on it yet and I wasn't sure that I would like this black um, vellum leaf on there but I actually do um, I'm going to let it stick there, and then I'm going to glue it down. Actually, let me put some glue under it because it'll lift up with that if nothing's adhered to the background. And that doesn't even show, so that's great. Let's see. I've got that there. I really don't want to put this in the exact same line as this. Maybe here. And then something like, let's see if I have a flare that works for there. Maybe this that says I need vitamin C. Uh, there, and then I can have a, ooh, 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 wait, let's go with shells, because it's a little bit bigger, and I can do that right there, and then I can do a hibiscus, let's see if there's a smaller hibiscus, or if there's one of the puffy foam ones. Those are pretty large. And, you know, I've got to leave room for my title there. I do like this little plumeria. There aren't any hibiscus on here, but there are plumeria. So I kind of like that. And I'll do it right here. And that foam will hold this up so that I can slide something else down there because I'm determined to get a hibiscus on there. And my hibiscus if I did it right I could get it to bridge across there and then put that plumeria kind of on top of it. So if I put a, a little bit of foam, take this off, kind of do this, that way, and then this, instead of going there, actually might want to go here, or do I not need that at all? This can go here, and maybe the plumeria can go just off by itself. Okay, I'm liking that so far. I need something here, and maybe another... Um, Ooh, maybe the white plumerias. Might look nice there and kind of hanging down. I haven't glued that on yet. And so let me do this so that it's... I'm liking it. I had no idea which things were going to go where when I started out, and 
unhappy with the uh, with the progression here. I want something out here. Maybe a palm tree. Oh, I haven't glued that down or any of this down. Actually, would that palm tree be good there. Let's put it back on here for the moment and I'll get some of these things actually glued down. I'm going to maybe assume that I can put something in the center. So I'm going to put some foam underneath it, some foam tape. And I've got myself a bit of a mess. I want to make sure I get that back on camera. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's actually not big enough. I want it raised up so that there's a little bit of shadowing on the white, um, on the on the creamish sort of background. Okay, there. And then I have this that's going to go, it's going to slide under there and be, and it'll cover, it'll be held down by the tape that's kind of showing through there. This I want to put on some foam in a couple places. These, um, this and this uh, black vest,